Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to enable USB debugging on an Android device with a broken or unresponsive screen. If your phone's screen is damaged and no longer responds to touch, enabling USB debugging through the usual method can be challenging. Normally, this setting is found within the Developer Options menu, which requires tapping on the build number seven times. However, if you can't interact with the screen, this process becomes impossible. In this video, I'll guide you through alternative solutions to enable USB debugging even if your screen is broken. With that said, let's get started. For this demonstration, I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy Note 9, but the method should work on many other Android devices that support screen mirroring via HDMI. Before we begin, here's what you'll need. A monitor or projector with HDMI input to display your phone's screen. USB-C to HDMI output. This allows you to connect your phone to an external display. The one I'm using has three ports, HDMI output, USB Type-C power input, USB-A input for external peripherals. And finally, a USB mouse. If your phone's touch functionality is also damaged, you'll need the mouse to navigate. To begin, first connect the Type-C to HDMI adapter to your phone's USB-C port. Then plug one end of an HDMI cable into the adapter and the other end into your monitor or projector. Once connected, your phone screen should automatically be mirrored on the external display. If your phone's touchscreen still works, you can now control it as usual while viewing everything on the monitor. However, if your touchscreen is also broken, connect a USB mouse to the adapter. This will allow you to navigate the phone using the cursor, just like on a computer. Now that you can access your phone's settings, follow these steps to enable USB debugging. Open the Settings app. Scroll down and select About Phone and open it. Tap on Software Information. Locate Build Number and tap on it seven times to unlock developer options. If prompted, enter your device's PIN, pattern, or password to confirm after that, go back to the main settings menu and scroll down to find developer options. Open developer options and scroll down to find USB debugging. Toggle the switch on, then click OK to confirm. Now you have successfully enabled USB debugging. A great feature of this Type-C to HDMI adapter is that it has a Type-C power input, meaning you can charge your phone while mirroring the display. This ensures that your phone won't run out of battery during the process. Not all phones support HDMI output, so this method may not work on every Android device. If your phone does not support screencasting via HDMI, you may need to explore alternative methods, such as using ADB commands via a PC, which I will cover in a future video. That's it for this tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, please subscribe to WeZanTech Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.